I gotta unmute. So welcome to each other's. It's your new stream up for this evening. <laughs> welcome to the reveal of Hero Hero series and Legacy series. I am joined by a few individuals that are kind of kind of a big deal within the THL. So I'm gonna start from the top left as everybody's looking, and that's gonna be the man, the myth. The Mr. Mr. Taco Bell himself, Don Day. How you doing, sir? I'm doing well, Saku. How are you doing tonight? I'm doing good. Doing good. And then top right, I got my fellow fellow Nova Scotian or Haligonian, however we want to call it, Mr. Corridan. Who's How's muted? it going? I'm not <laughs> muted. Am I muted? <laughs> No, we can no, hear you. No, we're here. <laughs> How's it going? I'm doing great. Yeah, finally back. Fellow Haligonian, Nova Scotian. Just had a local land here. Got to see beautiful Sako, right? Fresh faced and everything. So it was a yeah. great time. But uh, excited to get back into THL. We've had a long off season and, you know, time to see who the teams are. That's right. That's right. So, and then bottom right, not Hearthstone type bottom right, but. <laughs> Got the uh, wildly talented Vino Spumoni. How you doing, sir? I mean, bottom right though. Like, really? How, how you doing? <laughs> <laughs> doing good. Happy to be here. Uh, and then you have me. So that's it. So just to do those quick introductions, <laughs> um, we do have the Hero Series, which is entering its twentieth season. Amazing enough. Um, and then we're going to be doing Legacy Series, uh, which is doing season twenty three. Um, then both of those series are going to go into the Wheel of Doom. Um, and then we're going to do our top five take. So um, with the two seasons going on, so Hero Series is going to have two conferences. So it's going to be its its uh, signature teal and purple. Uh, and Legacy, I believe it's three conferences. I think that we got confirmation right yes. down there. Yeah. So we got si silver. That's uh, yellow dart's favorite color. Uh, then we got gold and red conferences same as same as as it could be as vanilla as it can be so yeah just think of red as like a bronze kind of and you know there we kinda, go the motif works right so without further ado let's get to the first hero series team we're going to start off with the hall of famer donde all right so our first team this evening in hero series is going to be the late bloomers this is Captain by Always Just in Time, and also the one seed is Always Just in Time, followed by Pokemon 661, Diamond, G Kick, and Tab, right under the 1850 PR cap. So this is a this is a strong looking team. You know, Justin is uh, is as capable, if not more capable, than any one seed in the league. Has proven time and just in time and time again that he is uh, a a championship team builder. So I think this has got to be just at a glance. I know this is the first team we're looking at. Uh, and Heroes is going to be stacked, because it always is. This is definitely going to be a championship contender right out of the gate. I'm trying to remember from chat if this was like a last-minute team to get thrown together. Was that, is that right, or am I missing something? Uh, I don't think it was like quite last minute. I think Justin uh, stepped up to captain a little bit later, hence right, the right. name, Late Bloomers. But, yep. uh, but obviously everybody that's on this team, you know, the I think Tab is the only real not unknown but like I, I don't are they a complete rookie this season I don't know if they're a complete rookie if they played around a little bit last season but like everyone knows Diamond everyone knows Justin Pokemon's been around for a few seasons now and G Kick is uh, lethal in the four seeds uh -huh. so this is yeah. yeah this is quite the team that's my biggest takeaway here is seeing G Kick in the four seed is is pretty insane uh, yeah. like the PR fits it but. It's it's why I'm pretty sure G Kick stepped in a few times for Hero last season and went like two and zero or three and zero. And I think it was more than that. Legacy. Yeah, yeah. Like, I think, um, he was I think I'm getting them backwards, but like definitely in the four seed is an absolute steal. And as Geranium's pointing out, Tab did go nuts in Legacy. That's right. I remember. Mm -hmm. I was gonna say I remember yeah. seeing Tab when I was doing the awards. Uh, check out that bot if you haven't. Uh, mm -hmm. But yeah, Tab will be uh, be strong in the five seed as well. I'd have to imagine. Okay, I'm going to head over to Corden, who's going to announce the second team out of the 12 that are in the Hero Series. Yes, yeah, so uh, coming in is APM, another pleasant meeting. Captain by Bone Masher 
You got your one seed Stinzy. Number two is Deliver. Three seed Bone Masher. Four is Copa. And five is Jolt C. Um, dancing around the PR, not as not as much as late bloomers, but still, you know, getting close to it. Um, I mean, this team's going to be looking pretty good. Bone Masher in the three is very interesting. I think is Deliver a newer. Deliver's been around for a while. Deliver's been around. Yeah, been yeah. Around, but came doesn't back, play every season, right? but yeah. but yeah. does play quite a bit. Um, yeah. I know Copa stepped in uh, a little bit last season in my actually my hero team when we were playing um, over on the Cult. So um, got got their feet wet there, and now uh, able to come through. Maybe see some spicy shaman. I know Copa's a massive shaman player, so we'll have to see everything and how it goes. Um, it's it's going to be interesting. APM teams always, I think, historically just find a way to do very well. Um, it's got to, it's, it, either it's the prep behind the scenes or whatever it is, but APM always seems to be, you know, within the top four playoff spots anyway. Low-key a great logo as well. Yes. <laughs> yeah. the, both these logos, I will say, have been on key. I really, really like the first one too. Um I'm not usually a memer, but that was pretty funny in this one as well. So these are these are clutch. Not not of the uh, the concede your match from battlegrounds of of old when it was just degraded beyond belief. These are uh, <laughs> they're simple, well thought out, and you know they're right on the nose. They get to the point, and I I do appreciate that. Yeah. All right, Vino, you ready to rumble with the next one? Yep. All set. So. Looking at another fellow APMer team here, uh, Geranium's team. So we have Molstar in the one and Wild Nine, uh, Geranium Battle, Laughing Frog, and Canoe. Mm -hmm. uh, so pretty solid team, some recognizable faces for me. Um, yeah. Just looking at the logo. I know. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I can just hear the voice so well, so I was just saying it in my head <laughs> laughing. <laughs> they're great. Yeah, they're, these have been really good. Um, PR illegal, just so everyone at home knows. It, they're not illegal. Um, it, it just <laughs> hasn't been calculated properly yet, so nobody can put down the pitchforks and the torches. Um, yeah. They, well, they are, it hasn't been calculated yet because somebody on the team has not registered yet. So let this kind of serve as notice. If, you're, if you are in the chat and you're on one of these teams, get on your teammates to register. Because AKA we Geranium. Yeah, Geranium. Team legal, man. Get them yeah. legal, bro. Um, but yeah, I mean, uh, Molestar is clinically one of probably the better players, I would say, uh, coming out of Hero in years and even just across THL. Um, Wild Nine usually sitting in the one C two, so we'll have to watch out that one and two punching. Uh, I think Geranium is usually sitting around the three seed, so that's pretty standard. And I Frog had a was it Legacy or Hero? Um, a crazy season. Uh, just came off a massive season as well, right? Um, Laughing Frog. Which one? Yeah, did, uh, did Laughing Frog not just have a really good season as well? Yeah, she did. She yeah, did. yes, she went crazy. Yeah, so. So it's going to be a team to watch for sure. And Canoe, I know, slipped a little bit uh, from a few seasons ago, but definitely in the five seed is someone to watch. I would say a three or four seed at most. So in the five, uh, definitely looking to be a cracked, uh, a, a, a hidden player for sure. Yeah. All right. On to the fourth one, which brings up a slightly controversial uh, PR, Donde. <laughs> we had a yes. we had a discussion in the green one. Prior yes, to pre, pre game discussion of this one, which we'll, we'll talk about in a second. This is F two L Obsidian. Uh, they they were doing the APM thing before APM, and now uh, APM has just as many teams as F two L. It feels like, but this is the Obsidian version, the hero version, uh, led by Itachi as the captain. Parawax is your one seed. Andy Rogers in the two. Ariana twenty sitting in the three seed. Corden is in the four, and Eternal's in the five. Now, the PR says 1334, and that's because, uh, to our estimation, Andy Rogers' PR did not get pulled over. Again, we're going to blame Mako on the sheet. Uh, so we think it just it just slapped a 50 on him and said that's good. So uh, he's actually around like 480, so this should probably be about 430 points higher than it's showing. Uh, that being said, another strong-looking team, I mean, Hero, is the place for, for loaded teams. Parawox was dominant last season. 
and uh, in, in pro, I believe, if I recall correctly, and also uh, on ladder, getting rank one all the time. Andy Rogers coming back, Hall of Famer. Ariana in the three makes no sense to me whatsoever. Uh, Cornyn, uh, what are you doing down the four, buddy? Let's Leave talk about this. Leave me alone. Leave me down here, man. <laughs> <laughs> Atachi said I'd play in the four, so I jumped on. <laughs> rigged. Can I get a rigged in chat? And he said I'd stay there, so, you know, how can I turn that down? Yeah, I mean, I'd be shocked if you pass any of the three players above you, not because you're a bad player, but because they are all very, very good players who should be able to ideally keep you there, which is good for your team. There we go. Now, you gotta be, you gotta, you'd have to give me, you know, one thing, though, I gotta say is uh, Itachi, it, he'll, he'll, he'll want to sub himself in at times this season. Right. You got to make sure that doesn't happen because Hero has not been his strong suit. <laughs> <laughs> I don't, I don't know. know the four the four seed is where I'm at. I think I might just have to rename myself to four seed to be completely fair. I I am so comfortable in that. I just it's where I like to be. Foradin, <laughs> Foradin. There we go. Foradin. That's it. Foradin. Yeah, there it is. <laughs> oh man, that should have been the team name. <laughs> <laughs> F two L for it in. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So we got. Uh, speaking of Foradin, he's up next. Gordon. Uh, I I am, but uh, oh my goodness, is uh, we're almost in battlegrounds, but it looks like a triple. Another APM team always packing mana. This one is captained by KSW, who has been captaining quite a few. Uh, I think probably second or third season captaining an APM team in Heroes. Um, running back, number one will be Genji. In the two, Venus Bamuni. Number three, KSW fitting in. Number four is Wayfair. And number five, bringing it up, is Osmonaut. You know, I, there's something about this team that just, I have a good feeling. I don't know what it is. Call me crazy, but they're are looking that, looking pretty looking pretty good here. Are you saying they're packing? Packing. They're packing. Yep. <laughs> I feel you. I gotta say, I think this is probably my favorite team name of the three APM teams. Mm-hmm. Not that any of them are bad, but I like this one the best. Uh, Thank I you. Thought, I, oh, did you come <laughs> up with it? Yes. Oh, awesome. <laughs> All right. Well, that was completely unexpected. So. <laughs> Uh, I mean, you did come up with our pro team name. I didn't make season, the logo, so. though. Yeah, well, the logo I mean, was all KSW. All okay. right, all okay. right. So KSW gets some credit there. I think the, the construction of this team is interesting because it's more of like the the classic kind of mid range team where no, you, you're not like loading the top two seeds or even the top three seeds and you know throwing out like a 50 pr player at the bottom that might struggle against some of the osmonauts of the world so it's like one of those more balanced teams where we might see some shifting especially in that like three to five range um and that that tends to work out if those you know lower seeded players on the team can consistently win and support the one and two seeds so it's an interesting uh play i don't know how successful it's been in hero it seems like it's more successful of a team building strategy in the legacy in my experience though all right who's up next i think it's venus bimoni yep so we have the ice clown citadel um captain by neji boston um, who's in the one seed, followed by Ridiculous Hat, Marty B, Race Cryption, and Azalea Akari. Um, so pretty solid team here. All people that have beaten me pretty good in THL in the past. So, um, you know, watch out for this one. I'm not sure if I like this team. Um, is, is they're probably going to be rude to their opponents. <laughs> this team upsets they're, me. They're, like, they're just a bunch of clowns. I this mean... team is this is a <laughs> this is a scary team. It um, is like this this team is probably my favorite to win. Like I've seen them all, and this team spooks me. Like Marty yeah. B shouldn't be in the three. Our high yeah. shouldn't. I mean, you know what's passing edgy, but our high shouldn't be a two. Like it's pretty insane what they've put together here. Um. I mean, Neji seems to find like one of the best, and it's very interesting too because Marty and Arhat made a post looking for a legacy team to say, "Get us a ship." Um, and this team pretty much looks like the exact same thing in Hero. Yeah. I mean, this team looks on paper 
to be probably my front runner. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I when you have yeah. Nedry on your team, the value is crazy because he's so far above the PR, you know, yeah. uh, the PR cap, I should say, not the floor, that uh, you're, you're always going to be at an advantage because Neji could go like 0 and 9 and he never will, obviously, but he still would be above 550. Like, that's just insane. Yeah. <laughs> And the trickle down effect that has, like, you know, it pushes our hat to a two and Marty to a three. And I mean, I know Rice, I believe, was in the four last year, might be the first for Hero. I know Rice played Legacy and did a very good job. I think went like eight and two, eight and three in Legacy. Um, and then Azalea Kari had a phenomenal Hero uh, a few seasons ago. Um, and so we know the. Um, the prep is there and definitely Neji in our hat and Marty yep. can get the lower two seeds prepped up and, and to a playing to a point where they should do completely fine. Yep. Now I think one of the underrated things about this team though, like that we're not discussing is the fact that our hat might be distracted the season because Hades two was just announced. So I don't know how much brain space he's going to have for like, <laughs> and when and is it, and it, it doesn't matter. He's going to be, he's going to be laser focused, preoccupied on it until it releases. And then once it releases, you won't see him for like three weeks. Uh, I mean, maybe we can get some proof of life from his wife. Just let us know, you know, that he's okay. But was it flying that kind oh, man? Keep, keep us updated on our hats. Uh, I guess, I guess us. that's good news for everybody else then. It can't hurt. So if you want to distract, this is the strategy for, for teams going up in the two seed versus our hat. It's just distract them with Hades two talk. And then that, that should do it. So yeah. Name Which, your decks, things like, like Hades related, you know, yeah. like the different boons and whatnot. And then he'll just be like, what could that mean? And he'll like be thinking about what, cause it's closed list, you know, that's a good yeah. way to, to get into his head. Yep. I'm, I'm taking notes over here. I'm in the two seed. So thank you. I'm prepping <laughs> already. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we got Katie joining us. Hi, Katie. No, all right. Oh we're... no. So you're being you're being watched <laughs> there, from Vino. I better be on my best behavior. There you go. There you go. So are we get Dawn Day next for the next team, which I think is a very cool, uh, very cool uh, logo. It is, and the name of it too. Like when I saw the yes. name, I was just like, "Oh, this is a nine eyebrows team." Like I mm-hmm. didn't even. It's funny because when teams have been around, when captains have been around, like everyone has like a vibe. Um, and this is a nine eyebrows team name. It's Sorry Lads acquires the title, so they're going by Slat S L A T T, you know, for short. But it's Super Chicken, C Mac, Nine Eyebrows in the three, and also captaining with Skirt Reynolds in the four, and you kit me in the five. Uh, this is yeah, pretty much the same team uh, that they had last at least one, maybe two seasons at Nine Eyebrows as captain. So not a new, what does Slat stand for? It stands for Sorry Lads Acquires the Title. Um, mm-hmm. this, so yeah, this is not, a, again, you know, a new team, but why change it when you've got players on it that consistently win championships uh, over and over again? You know, these are all players that have been there. They've made deep playoff runs. The team works. There's no reason to change it when when you got that. So uh, another, another team that we're going to have to look out for. Uh, I... I don't, I, I mean, I'm thinking about what my top five is going to be when we're going to talk about it at the end, and I just don't know how I cut some of these teams out of it because they're all loaded. Yeah, this, hence, this is a great team as well. Hence the hence the PR illegal. So <laughs> yeah, this one might actually just be illegal, like <laughs> because it's not fair, not necessarily over 1850. All right. On to the next one with Corden. Next team up is a uh, team that's been around for quite some time now. Captain by Quaz. It is the Cult. A classic, clean-cut logo. Uh, in the one, EK Hades. Two seed, Skittles. Three seed, Swelly. <laughs> Four seed, Skirt. Oh no, I'm reading up. It's Mike V. It's me, Mike V, and the five is Quaz himself. Trying to re- was um his girlfriend on the team last year? I, I was trying to remember. Because you were on last year, obviously, right? Was um Sharkbait. Sharkbait, yes. No, Sharkbait wasn't. So last year, so there's been a few uh changes. I I was there um as well as um Oh my goodness, I can't even think of who else was there. Matt at Arms was there. Um and um I mean um, we 
were right at the cusp of playoffs and just in the last week missed out on it last uh, week. But okay. EK Hades is coming back and Quaz is coming back. So I believe Skittles, Swelly, and It's Me, Mike V um, are all re- are coming to the cult this year. Um, I know, I know EK Hades, uh, the, we, we all had a bit of prep issue last season. It was a lot of time zone issues and stuff, but definitely I know in the chat has been saying that he's ready to keep going. And before I was out of that, out of that server there, um, Skittles is one oh. of the most underrated, I, I mean, even underrated anymore. I think everyone knows what Skittles can do. It's, it's quite literal insanity. Um, and Mike V, I think, coming out of a little bit of a hiatus to come back and play in some THL, so that's really cool to see. Yep. So yeah, I would say if, it's been at least about a year for Mike V, right? At least, yeah, a full yeah. year. Yeah. So yeah, not a season, but a full year. So they're jumping back in into the pool, yeah, into the player. fray. Yep. So what happens if Ek Hades goes to the two? Is Ari Hack going to play him? Depending on where they line oh, up. Oh, that might just be the most. <laughs> I think this needs to happen. Just, I think he just has to quit there, right? He just, <laughs> he just takes a, takes Insta, a trio. Into DQ. Yeah. yeah. I think he's, that's how he he won't it. know. He's going to accidentally like boot up Hades on his PC. And like, yeah. he'll just like, why isn't he showing up? I'm playing the, re- the right, right game, right? <laughs> yeah. So, another strategy for the cult to try if they go match up against uh, our ad. So, there you go. All right, next team, Vino. All right, so we have um, F2L Black, um, captained by Rebobson. Um, we have Mr. Python, Rebobson, Dr. Bomb D, Totino's Pizza, and Jim Flos. So, Jimmy. Jimmy. Every time I see Totino's pizza, too, I, I just want some pizza rolls. 100%. Yeah, I got hungry. The best snack, like, ever. Even if it burns your mouth when it's too hot. Yeah, hard to, <laughs> hard no. to argue with the pizza rolls. <laughs> yeah. mm-hmm. solid, solid team. Been around, obviously. I, I don't think I've seen Mr. Python on this team Python. before. Python played a few seasons ago and had a, like, one of the most stellar years, like right before crossovers was a thing, I believe. Mr. Python was leading in, he was doing it in pro, wild, hero, legacy, like literally mm. was burning down the THL. And then um, we were on STD together when I first came in and he took a, a bit of a hiatus. Um, so clearly back, I mean, Dr. BOMD is definitely probably a resurgence of why he's back. They were... Yep. They kind of clicked together, and Dr. BOMD was the STD captain and still is, so uh, from Legacy anyway. Um, so nice. it's good to see Python back, like a heck of a player, like really good. If like if you go know Python, you're you're about to find out this season. Yeah, <laughs> I think I think this is a team that like totally um, makes up the PR gap there. Like like don't underestimate them at all. Yeah, yeah. I mean, some teams like the PR doesn't tell the whole story. This yeah, is, sure. th- this is probably one of those teams too. You know, Robobson has been historically one of the better players in THL just he, across like, like you said, with Mr. Python, like he, he can play across all the disciplines that, that we have. And, you know, he had a bit of a down season last season compared to what he's normally capable of, but that's, uh, you know, if anything, better value for the team. Uh, I will say shout out to, to bomb D. Uh, he lost one of his, airpod earphones and it was gone for months and he finally got a new pair so he's got like three now so he's got a backup you know so uh <laughs> you know this is relevant yeah. because we play we play gloomhaven on monday night and he almost always was like unable to talk to us because he left like one earpod miles and miles away <laughs> i was gonna say once <laughs> you buy once you buy a new set then you end up you automatically find the other uh earpod so something happens he should yeah. he should do pretty well in the three too. I think this mm-hmm. season easy, easy, easy. So I guess uh, this is Mr. Python's uh, uh, rookie career in uh, the F two L scene. So yep. rip rip Marty Marty will eventually get to F two L. Um, Wait, so yeah. Marty Marty's an F two L player. He, uh, Not rumor has player. he nah. Rumor, rumor has it even. I was under not. the impression that based on the results of that, uh, you know, Family Feud, which, as we know, is ironclad and should never be questioned, Correct. that Marty is not an F2L player. Not an F2L player. Yeah. 
confirmed. So, all right, we're on to the next one. Gordon, I think it is, or nope, Dante. Yep. So this is Et Yasharaj. This is a uh, returning team, uh, captained by Trito Two. And it will be led by Chewie in the one seed, Yo Daddy in the two, MPV in the three, Trito in the four, and then Anfall in the five, making his comeback Yay. into Hero Series. Love to see Anfall, teammate of mine in several seasons across Hero and Legacy. Mm. Um, you know, when he was playing with us, he was a four seed, and now as a five seed, that doesn't seem very, very fair. So Anfall should be a very strong five seed for this team. Trito has been just getting better and better as seasons go on. Chewie is a rock star at the one seed. And Yo Daddy and MPV should hold it down on the two and three. This is another strong team. A uh, little bit different look than last season, but overall, I think that they are at least got to be a playoff contender. If not, maybe... <laughs> I, I don't I don't know if they quite edge out some of the championship caliber teams that we've looked at already, but uh, to say that they have a shot uh, would not be a stretch. So Trito a, in the four is always crazy. That's right. <laughs> I was just about to comment on that. Yeah. <laughs> and I, I always feel uh, I always feel left out of the ET thing. I, I I always see that, and I don't know what it means. What does that mean? Extraterrestrial. Is it literally that? Pretty sure. Yeah. I thought it was like an inside joke or something. I that's what I always thought it was. So maybe I'm just I'm just selling myself because every time I read it, it's I go for extraterrestrial, like you're out of this world type of deal. Okay. Um, and maybe they're trying to brand up like APM and F2L because there is an ET in. Well, I, yeah, I think that's also. I think that's, that's what also I was thinking because it was it's an ET and then it's I think outside of that as well because yeah. I think he uses the treated as old gods because Cthulhu yes. as well. So I think his, you know, as the colors for F2L and the play on words for APM. And I think ET is always going with the old gods. Yeah. Pretty it's cool. cool. Kind of these, you know, these franchises, so to speak, pop up and, uh, and, and brands be, be yeah. very competitive. They're brand centric. There we go. Okay. Gordon, you get to All do right. this one. Um, yeah, good, this good. This good one. luck. Good luck. All right, great. Here we go. Is this just? Is this just? No, it can't be. Okay, never mind. Department of League Administration, which I will be calling Dola for the rest of my casting career. <laughs> Captain by Two Star Mako. You have Ron Mexico in the one, Lotus Knight in the two, Don Day in the three. Two-star Mako in the four, and Saku bringing up the five seed. I'm, I'm the base to this team right now. Hey, you know what? A pyramid is only as strong as its base. That's right. Uh, I, at first, I was looking, and I said, is this just a uh, Aeon? Um, but then I realized it's not because there's actually only one or two board members. Um quickly realized that. But I literally thought it was just, uh, that's what it was. But it's not. It's pretty much just a merge of a lot of extremely good players it's a content centric team yeah as i was gonna that's kind of where i was like wait what why are these names all looking that's that's pretty <laughs> much it you've got the old hosts of like two old hosts of heart center um around the saloon with mako uh, if anyone remembers you know uh donda you've been pretty much touching on everything in content and saku the streamer extraordinaire so I would like to point out to this team from Hero. So this is kind of, uh, you know, Ron, Lotus, and I played on a team last season together in Hero. Uh, so this is three of the five All-Stars from that Hero conference. And then Lotus Knight missed a week and missed being an All-Star just barely. So this is, uh, this is I, I feel strongly that this team is going to be a highly competitive team. It doesn't have some of the flash that some of the other teams have, but uh, but. We're gonna we're gonna get we're gonna get there. I, I have a good feeling. Saku, you're gonna be killing it in the five seed. Yeah. We're gonna make sure that you join us in the all star uh all star arena this season. I I can't wait. Can't wait to join the, the, the club. So we'll we'll see how it goes. Eighteen oh six PR, not too bad. So room to breathe. Yeah, yeah. All right. One more final team. All right. And we are going to hit it with the classic. 
Yep. Last but not least, it's Dad Legend, um, Captain by Yellow Dart. We have Mickey 66, um, Ducharmo, which I maybe I'm wrong. I feel like I haven't seen Ducharmo in a while, so good to see them back. back. Yeah. Um, Pescatarian, Ryzen, um, and Yellow Dart. Two very good players in the four and five, actually. Yeah, Risen is another one of those cheat codes in the four. Mm-hmm. And yeah, that think. stinky, stinky yellow dart in the five. Like yeah. what the <laughs> dart? Well, no, yeah, that it is. Uh, I mean, Dad Legend is is such a synonymous team. Again, I mean, when you talk about the the old school teams, the um, you know, no no rebranding. It's just Dad Legend in pretty much every single atmosphere of thl uh dart has been there for a while risen's been on it but you know it no icicles this time around no starlack so the team definitely has a bit of a different look to it mm-hmm. yeah, i don't know much about mickey 66 uh but if they're above players like ducharmo pescatarian risen and yellow dart uh, they must be pretty good pr must be up there too so yeah. uh, i have to imagine that the team is going to be competitive yeah, it's always a question mark when you see a, a newer player sitting in the one seat. It's it, especially because you don't necessarily know how they like to play or what they like to play. I feel like once you're tenured in the THL, you, you have a bit of a read to you. So people can read what you want to play, maybe what you're going to do and try and counter that, especially in something like Hero, which is so matchup specific. Um, Mickey might be a bit of a question mark here for a lot of these one seeds, so we'll have to see how how they perform. It's it's that edge that uh, Yellow was looking for, I guess. Eh? So yeah, I mean, there's not a whole lot of question marks in this hero. I mean, mm-hmm. a, a few rookies, but we've seen them before. Mickey is really the one dark horse that we haven't been able to see. So we'll uh, we'll have to keep watching and see how the season goes for them. So we just seen uh, Geranium just poke in, say Mickey won his first match. Undefeated. They're, they're, they're for, there you yeah. go. So they're 100%, 100% win rate. 100% <laughs> yeah. win rate in THL. Oh, boy. Dart went and found him. He got him. <laughs> and Who did the Mickey voice dads? here? Who did the Mickey voice? <laughs> oh, I've watched my share of Mickey, man. <laughs> I was going to start singing the... Anyway, I won't sing. We'll leave that alone. <laughs> Wait, uh, right. Mickey Mouse Clubhouse? Yeah, 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 yeah. No. Nah. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Mickey. All right. Don't get us, uh, don't get us muted in the yeah. <laughs> we'll, we'll probably get uh, canceled because of the uh, the, uh, the copyright for the song. Wait, don't, we, don't we have a mini in THL as well? Possibly. Mm, that team oh. needs to happen. Yes, there is a mini, <laughs> I believe. Yeah. We'll, we'll see. We'll see in Mini and Mickey. We'll see in the next reveal. So. Yeah, I think I think they're uh, I think they're a stub. Oh, uh, the stub. Yeah, we'll 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 see that. In Maybe a not currently, but they've been. But they've been. Get, we'll get Oz on the phone. We'll we'll see what's going <laughs> yeah, yeah. We'll yeah. phone a friend we'll here. That's right. On. That's right. Yeah. All right. So now we're, we're going to jump into the wheel here. So hopefully this shows up. Wheel yeah, again. Of. Doom. So we got teal conference going first, or should we go purple? Do we do the perps first? Uh, you gotta start on the left side, right? Like that's just proper. Okay. You twisted my rubber. Yeah, arm. You, you made a decision. Let's stick with it. Okay. <laughs> for the uh, you know, it bothered less, me. If we less went confusion to the right for first. the for the viewers. <laughs> So, All right, so, so um, okay. I'm taking odds. Get your bingo cards out. Uh, all APM go into the same conference. That'll be oh, awesome. Come on now. Ooh, all right. <laughs> it, al- it almost That's... happened last night. So it, oh, we, don't, yeah. we don't want that. That's what I'm looking for. All APM in the same conference. All APM and stick F2L in there, too. So that way it's just like <laughs> but, all of them in one conference. <laughs> Literally, there's lit- well, a dad legend coming right off the board. Um, that would be actually hilarious two f 2 ls and a two three apms and then just sprinkle it with something else mm. based based was on it last last night when she was uh predicting the team so was, we'll see who can uh who can come the closest with predicting where where the teams are going to fall so all right going to go to a conference of the purples hopefully my finger will be a little bit better for spinning the wheel and Donde announce Ice Clown Citadel. Some ICC. Uh, 
All right. All right. So no one wants to be in purple conference now, right? Uh, yeah, I was about to say everyone wants to avoid purple right now. <laughs> that was that's the big team. That was the one I think we all kind of had as our number one. So, yep. Teal next and Fino. The cult Ooh. for Teal. So saving APMs for last. That's what I said. The F two L's, the APMs are still in there. I will say, like Dad Legend and the Cult have been teams that have been around for a very long time. So some old school juggernauts going out of there. Oh, there it is. Yeah, oh, there you go, Gordon. P R. Okay, all the P. All they all go to purple now. That's it. One's gone in. The rest got to go in. All right. So we got abusing going in there. I need to see who goes into purple after to see who ICC is abusing. <laughs> ICC That's right. abusing. It'll be dull. Okay. I'll be sad. All right, Donde. Oh, oh, sorry, Vino. Man, we already ruined it. The dream. Dang it. We got it. Dang it. Yeah, yeah, survive. Vino get to do Vino dodge. We had, we had one job this evening, and we did not. <laughs> yeah. We did not accomplish it. The wheel did Vino's not accomplish it. Vino's just dying a breath of relief dodging purple. Yeah. All right. I think it's what Dante is up next. I'm not complaining. <laughs> oh, isn't that that's a e sad story? Yashraj. Oh, they're abusing Yashraj. Yeah. All right. That's fair. I mean, it's a, he's an old god, so <laughs> I feel like there'll be some retribution there. Nobody <laughs> should probably call someone. Shouldn't be abusing your old gods like that. No. Put some respect on the old gods. <laughs> if people keep abusing Yasharaj, we're going to get Big Priest back. <laughs> yeah, yeah, please don't abuse Yasharaj. Oh, this is fitting for Cord to announce. Why? Our, why is it fitting for me? Because you're Canadian <laughs> and it's sorry. 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 I don't sorry, even, I don't even, anyway, uh, so, sorry, lads. <laughs> Acquires the title. Sorry, I don't really have that upper Canadian. I'm sorry, everybody. I'm just a dirty coaster. <laughs> yeah, silly, silly Canadians. Silly Canadians uh, and their funny words. Uh, yeah, a boot. Yeah. Anyway, right. we'll go to the purple. The, the real question is, when's the last time you got you got Timmy's? Today, oh, it did, exactly <laughs> today, I got myself. I, had, I went there twice, and I got angry because they locked Canadianity doors. restored. Yeah, yeah. I got myself a a, a red uh, red eye iced coffee. Oh, and those a, are uh, yeah. And a and a what was it? The hal jalapeno um, pastry there. So oh, I got myself a BCD and a and a double double. There we go. See, yeah. Oh, those are those are words. Boston cream donut. I have donut, no idea baby. what's happening. <laughs> this isn't Dunkin' Donuts. What? Another pleasant meeting. Heading over to the oh. pleasant meeting of Purple Conference. So, all right. So this is there's going to be a, a meeting between the APMs here. So, yeah, there's at least uh, at least two APMs. I mean, we we were always bound to get at least two APMs <laughs> together. So we I still mean, do have two F two Ls there uh, two out F2Ls there as well. Before. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, so let's rip with Teal. So who's up next? Vino? Yeah. Or was that yep. you doing doing APM? Oh, was it? Go. Oh, it might have been. Sorry. Right. I think we've kind of... Vino's like, I don't remember when I spoke. Yeah, I think we've just been riffing. All right. I'll, I'll, I'll do it. Give her. F F2L Obsidian. Teal. Easy. You sounded like a player announcing themselves on Monday Night Football when they do like the Vino Spumoni, Pennsylvania. Uh, that is awesome. Uh, that's great. Hey, you get some support from Katie. Vino Spumoni. Thank you, Katie. That's what we need to do. My we, we know who the Beyonce. national streamer is in the house. That's yeah. yeah. <laughs> She's behind him, coaching him. Right yeah, now. yeah. Nothing beats that Key and Peel bit with the names. Oh my! Oh, God, that's yeah. so funny. Late bloomers. The late bloomers. Late bloomers there, there was one season where my entire fantasy league, we all had that Key and Peel sketch themed team names. <laughs> oh, yeah. so, it's so good. It is. Yep. Yeah. All right. Going back to Teal. Right. Right. Send Dola to Teal. Don't send us to our death. Let's go. 
It's got to be F2L over to Teal, right? I mean, that's just, it's got to be both F2L. I disagree. I disagree heartily. I think it has oh. to be, right? Because that means. Come on, Dola. Ah. Dola. That's all right. I get to beat up on Dola. That's fine. We'll take Purple it. is so free. Wow. We all got into the Teal Conference. Oh, that's rigged as hell. We all this <laughs> everybody on everybody this is here. Yeah. Worked worked as work. designed. Yes. Yeah. All right. Just so, just to work at uh Saku, it uh, checks in the mail. Okay, gotcha, 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 gotcha. And finally the, the finishing touches. Yep. Don't know who's gonna always, be always wonder on the last one, but you gotta do it. Yep. And drum roll. Whoa! F I did not see that coming. Purple. Yeah. You know why? Because it was noir. F two L noir. Who will be the first noir. to clip it? My money's on geranium. Okay. I can't believe we're all in teal. <laughs> yeah, that is that is quite hilarious that it worked out that way. Oh well, look, see, Katie with Drakkar noir. <laughs> all right so there is your, right, your happy go lucky yep throw them into justin team. justin let's go yeah. it's either justin or geranium who are usually the quickest at snapping it and throwing it in the uh, thl yeah geranium was distracted yesterday so uh I was AG, AG, there it is agt's uh yep shout out to justin yep all right so we're gonna flip over to the legacy series right now. So a couple teams here. Um, actually, before we move on, so Dondi for the hero series, because I'm going to put you on the spot here for a second. How are the playoffs working? 12 teams. Yeah, it should be the same as it was last season, I believe, uh, where it's six teams and then the top two will get a buy. Like the top, like the winner of each conference, that is, and then the next two. Um, so it would be like teal two seed would play purple three seed, teal three would play purple two in the first round, and then uh, we advance from there. So that should be the same as last time, I believe. Cool. It was just for any of the newer players that joined the THL, just to, I know they're going to ask their captains anyway, but it's since true. we're on stream, we can give you know. Just just get wins and you'll get in the playoffs. Oh wait, no, you won't because you know. Oh uh, wait, I'm gonna save that till we get to our team in Legacy. Don't worry about it. Uh, all right, all right. Dimmer. I have salt. Dimmer. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so we're gonna start off with Don Day doing the first Legacy uh, announcement, which is got Justin. So I got to I got to do Justin's team uh, in Heroes, so I, I get to go two for two here. It's always just in time. He's the captain, but he is not playing on this team. It's Wild Rose in the one, Pokemon 661 in the two, Infinite in the three, Organic Milk in the four, and Skirt Reynolds in the five. He has Justin team first twice. That usually means that Justin was the first to send in his teams, because that's how we put them in the sheets. <laughs> so, uh, if you want to be announced at the beginning of these streams, get your teams in quickly. That's uh, that's the general. general oh, rule yellow there, so. dirt. So yellow no, dirt was slacking. I, I honestly thought it was alphabetical, because it was always just in time, and then Bone Masher, but as I'm looking down the list, it totally doesn't make sense alphabetical, but it was the same for Hero, so I'm really glad you said that because I, <laughs> I straight up thought it was like just ranked by Captain. Oh but... wait, no, did uh oh, did, it is by Captain in Legacy. Oh, is it in Legacy? No, it's not because Osmonaut. There's no way. And then, oh, stop! Yeah, up with that. You're breaking my head. <laughs> what did you do, Saku? I didn't do anything. Yeah, it doesn't make sense. Uh, okay. Yeah, never it, mind. Think, We're looking there's, behind the scenes. There's, things there's some and, uh... vague, there's some vague alphabetical in here, but <laughs> the fact is Justin did get his in first, so that is a fact. Anyway, back to the team because we want to, uh, you know, keep this focused on the players and the teams and not our weird, uh, you know, sorting <laughs> proclivities. But anyway, Wild Rose has kind of emerged as a very, very strong player here in THL, especially in the in Legacy. There, see how they handle that one seed for the whole season uh, with Pokemon. I don't know much about Infinite. Um, Organic Milk is, uh, I think, a player who played last season as well. Skirt Reynolds is just good in the five for sure. 
So this is a strong team. I'm, you know, Justin, even though he's not playing, will have this team in line prep wise. I'm sure they will be a competitive team in Legacy this season. Wonder if they're all still Justin. I think Infinite played in Tespa. Maybe I'm wrong. I think they're Probably. like really I, good. I, I do believe that Justin does pull a lot from Tespa. I think that's where Pokemon and Wild that makes sense. also possibly came from as well. So um, that would make a lot of sense. So they got that, that PR discount for not having played in THL before, but being a competitive player from another side of Hearthstone will get you, uh, you know, will get you pretty far in THL. Uh, nice. Infinite is a Justin. God, I love okay. that. Yep. This, I, I, do, I do continue to love the theming of the team. Yeah. So Justin time is just a Justin magnet. That's confirmed now. Justin has now put on record that Infinite will win every match. He does not DQ in the three. Fair enough. I hope for your sake there are no DQs because that stinks. <laughs> All right. So we're ready for the next one with uh, Corden bringing in <laughs> a team. Yes, it is another APM squad. Activision printing money. Uh, as always, uh, well, not as always, but Bone Masher, captain this time around, Cheese 10 in the one, Stinzy in the two seed, Bone Masher in the three, myself, Corroden in the four, and Leo C in the five. Wait, did you pronounce your own name Corroden? Yes. I always say Corroden. It's okay. I'm it's sorry. really not. It's, it's wow. really. I'd like to it, issue a public apology right now for the, the, the O is silent. <laughs> It's better than what Jr. calls me, so I'll I'll literally take whatever. My I'm just a, I'm just avoided saying always, it out loud. <laughs> yeah, it's I I I'll I guess I'll publicly announce I I pronounce it corroding like corroding so corroding, but um it's still better than what Jr. used to call me, so that's that's great. Um, my grandfather used to say, "Call me what you want, but don't call me late for dinner," and I stand by that. So, there. well now, well now I can make you and the horse you corrode in references. So there it is. Wow. All right, oh. that's that's a team. I, I, I'm I'm still going on the 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 Ford and myself, <laughs> but see, Ford he in. is in the four. Yes, in this... I'm still. It's a theme. Trust me, see? Ford and so... you saw it. You saw it in pro. You saw it in hero, and it's no different. Legacy. <laughs> this one picky. though. I, I may have uh, picked you very early in our APM fantasy, uh, sitting in the foreign legacy. Yeah. Feeling good about that. Yeah, I'm, um, yeah, so a little behind, yeah, we did like a little APM fantasy thing not too long ago, put together by Bone Masher. So shout out to Bone Mash. Thanks again for that. But uh, um, I think our team's going to do very, very well. I'm, Really excited. Um, I've had a really good. I mean, this is kind of a toot my own horn thing, but I've done pretty well in Legacy the past two seasons, and now I'm jumping on with APM this time around. So uh, I think we're going to do super well. All right, Corona. pretty good team. <laughs> I got that. Okie dokie. Right. Next one. All right, we have the vanished. Venters, Venters. Um, so captain by Bouncy Knight. Um, first seed is Fire Noodle, who um, I've just been seeing a lot of recently. I know they hit rank one legend or something and tweeted it, which was pretty cool. Um, Triple A in the two, then Bouncy Knight, it's me, Mike V, and Righteous Jammies. So actually, I think this team's very good. Um, again, it's me, Mike B, and the four. I think is insane. They're they're a player I've seen on ladder a, a few times. But they're a very good player to be in the four. Yeah, I I don't know. I watch out for this team. I think they're going to do very well. Yeah, and, and Dream. I love how Dream is like our Elias Sports Bureau in real time mm -hmm. in the chat right now yep. with Fire Noodle and AAA on the same squad winning Tespa. Uh, yeah, you got to oh, wow. This is another one where the PR doesn't tell the story of how good a team could be or will be in THL. Obviously, uh, you know, it's a little different environment. Closed lists are a little different than what people are used to. So there's might be a little bit of an adjustment period. Uh, but yeah, I didn't 
yeah, it's Windows. Sorry, I don't care. <laughs> okay. Um, <laughs> fake news. A little bit of fake news flying out there. Wow. I, I will say, um, like, I don't. I didn't know anything about AAA before before this in in the chat. Uh, I will say that I had AAA back in college, and my car died. And then they continued to try oh and charge me for the card, even though it didn't have it anymore. So I kind of am a little bit angry about that. So uh, AAA is going to have some stuff. To, yeah, you're uh, starting off on the wrong too. foot with me personally. <laughs> I like your batteries. Some some experienced players yeah. though here. I think uh, this, is a, this is a better one. Maybe that might have fallen under the radar, but definitely a good team. All right. I love the logo too. So I think uh, Great Jacques, logo. Jacques Keener make that, if I'm correct. It was splashed in, in the channel before um, it was submitted, which is, which is pretty cool. But All right. Um, who's up next? We got. This is me. We get to Stubbs up next. It's the captain is Osmonaut. And let me, let me go back to our, our uh, discussion about the alphabetical order for a second. It's because Osmonaut's alternate name is Darkhawk, which uh, comes after Bouncy in the alphabet. So that makes sense now. So you're welcome for that explanation that nobody cared about. But That's Oz is the card. captain. and Still, still doesn't work. Shut, but okay. shut up. Shut up. <laughs> oh, and, and, what, and, and what was the Kari's name before? Yes. Okay, yeah, yeah, think, yeah, yeah. Think about okay. it for a second. Fair enough. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's all connected. This is, it's, I'm like, I'm like Charlie <laughs> in It's Always Sunny with in the mailroom with uh, all the, the, you know, the connections to Pepe oh, Sylvia. No. Yeah, you're welcome. <laughs> anyway. I am thinking of more the red stapler guy. So, no, no. <laughs> it's, it's, it's continue, it's Don Day. <laughs> anyway, continue. We're sorry to interrupt. <laughs> Lemur in the one, <laughs> Epic Mingo in the two, Kronos HS in the three, Probiwan in the four, and Osmonaut in the five. <laughs> uh, yeah, this is this is the classic Stubbs makeup. They did the same thing in Hero, where not every player is going to be top. The team's not going to be top heavy. They're going to have you know competitive uh, you know PRs across the board. Might be a little bit lower in those middle seeds, but uh, but yeah, that does tend to, as I mentioned, work better in Legacy than it has historically in Hero, where some of the teams don't necessarily get as stacked in Legacy as they do in Hero. I like it. I just like Pro B1. It's a good name. Yes, Pro B1. That, that's probably my top top five of all time. Th. Well, you know what? What if what if you pronounce it Pro B1? Still, still fantastic. I mean, still what if fantastic. it was a typo? And it's a, it's a zero. It's a zero instead of an O. Still PR, right. PR zero. Belongs. You can't this name for me. I'm all in on it. All right, good. <laughs> it is a good name. It's a fantastic name. Pro B1, you're our only hope. So I do. Lo- I do love when team names and player names are obviously like creative and or related to the game that you're playing. Like I know, Pro, like Pro B One, obviously it's not Hearthstone specific related, but it's it's nerdy, so it's fun. Mm-hmm. But like, like I bowl with a guy who's named Hakeem Bolajewan, which is fantastic to me. Oh. It's like it's it's perfect, right? So like that type of stuff, I think is is really great. All right, who's up next? We got that would be me, Corroden. Yes, sir. Swinging back in STD, the standard THL degenerates champions from a few seasons ago, captained by Dr. B O M D in the one seed, Memnark, two seed, Dr. B O M D in your three, Electric Sheep City, four is Risen, and five is Saku. Hey, um, this is pretty much the makeup from last season, is it not? Uh, this except for this- Risen, because we had. Yeah, we had Skittles in the four. Skittles, yeah. Yeah. And then, uh, so, yeah, I mean, the addition to Risen here, I, mean, I I can't say any worse than Skittles, definitely. So, um, I mean, the team's going to look pretty good. Yeah. Memnark was on um, Memnark had a on crazy fire. season last year. Yeah. yeah. He had a, a big streak going on from the playoffs that we won in the 20, season 20. So, or sorry, 21. So yeah, and bombed. Let uh, Memnark take uh, take the one seed. So He's yeah, very, yeah, very nice guy. After I think an eight and zero or was it or an mm-hmm. eight and one or something? Yeah, I think yeah, Doctor Bomd just said yeah, sure, why not? Give her. Yeah, but um, 
No, it's definitely uh, it's a team that I started my legacy thing, my uh, career with, and of course I left, and then they won the ship. So uh, it's always <laughs> good to see um, teams uh, the, yeah. stick it in and, and keep going at it. So I think yeah. I think it'll be a good season. I, I should have brought the shirt to the to the frags. Don't, just you would don't. Have, you would have ripped hurt. it in half. Yeah. Don't hurt me like that. Yeah, sorry, bud. All right, so next is Vino Spumoni with... Yep. So uh, we have the Copa Keepers, um, captained by Azalea Akari. Um, in the one seed, um, I think it's v- Vinos Pumanai. I think they're a new player. New player in THL. Um, next up, we have Andy Rogers, Pickett, Copa, and Clarity. So, no, no. Why am I a one seed? Help me. <laughs> Please, everybody. <laughs> Please help me. <laughs> send, send help. The uh, nos pamana is, is, how, is okay. how Corodin has to pronounce it. Everybody else, you can just say Vino, but I want Corodin to say the nos pamana. I don't put him in eye. You can't even say it. <laughs> you can't even say it. <laughs> Katie, I have to say Katie help him. Go eye. in the next room and go and go help your your, your boy pronounce their own name. Okay. I, you know what though? I kinda like Spamoni <laughs> better than Vino. What if I just go by Spamoni? It's fine, but it also it, it kind of just reminds me of the recess um Spinelli if you just go by Spamoni. So Is that just, a, is, was that a person on that show? You didn't ever watch the show recently? Well, because like the name is the dude from Hey Arnold. Yeah, I was gonna say it's a Hey Arnold reference. Oh, see, I yeah, no, not yeah. That. I, I always went with Recess, and it was Spinelli, the very sh- the, the the scary looking girl. Well, that that could be accurate for me as well. <laughs> but um, no, maybe they didn't I, have you know, Hey Arnold up in Canada. I don't know. Yeah, no, no, yeah, Canada doesn't have Hey Arnold or Nickelodeon in general. You know, it's fine. We we, we love Canada. No, I just. So. They just get Paw Patrol. <laughs> just that's it. Paw Patrol only. No, I think I think our team is is going to be decent. I mean, I'm biased, but um, we we had a good run last season, and then kind of mixed everybody up for this one. For, actually, geez, I think I'm the only person. Um, well, but it's a it's the same Discord, so you know it's it, it counts. <laughs> Copa filled in last year. Yeah. Uh, so, so Copa is a you know slash returning. Um, Andy was in the Discord helping out quite a bit with prep. So I mean, Andy was definitely our like the sixth person, um, if you could ever call it that, with prep and you know working on ladder and working on matchups. And Hickett and Clarity are are both been in THL for a while and proven to be good when they need to be. And and so I, I think it's a very solid team. And and what happened was is we kept Copa. So there you yeah, go. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, he <laughs> kept them. So, yeah. yeah. <laughs> All right. Next one is Donde. I got things to say. We're running back. The best team in legacy history to not make the playoffs. It's the Zilfs. Astro Frog, now a permanent one seed because Coles ain't getting it back. He's in the two. Myself in the three, Chronic in the four, Jim Phillips in the five. Yes, this is exactly the same team that went six and two last season and got locked out of the playoffs by just mere points because the conference that we were in last season was extremely loaded. And uh, this is Justin's fault. This is it's all Justin's fault. Let's just be honest. Go to win seven and one. Got to got to go seven and one or better six and two, I guess. But I mean, that's the thing is when a team that's six and two doesn't make it, that means there are other teams that would have also not made it if we had made it. That would have been six and two or better as well. So it was just an absolutely insane, highly competitive uh, conference, and we hung in there. So got to think that this team feels like you know we got to be competitive, even in a season where Coles has struggled now for about two seasons in a row. Chronic has been very, very good. Welcome Jim Phyllis back, and he's been very mm-hmm. solid in the five as well. Glad to have him back as well. And Astral has just been taken off like crazy. Started as a three on our team and has just moved all the way up to, I believe, is at 550 now. We're very, very close to it. So, yeah, looking forward to uh, to yet another great season with the guys and uh, another great season with the logo. Shout out to Rebob who made it, you know, about two years ago at this point. But it's just it's it's too good to, to not use. 
I kind of like the, uh, the, uh, the phone version of it too. That that's on the uh, oh, our, our championship website. banner. Yeah. 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 That's pretty cool. Is this the same team that you guys won the championship with? No, that had Anfall on it. Uh, that was, that was pre chronic and, okay. uh, uh, no, 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 astral either. So that was um, and fall oh and definitely wasn't the one with Vino on it. <laughs> no, that, it was the season before Vino. Actually, it was yes. uh, we we had I PR came in and screwed it all up for you guys. <laughs> no, it was Jammies. That's it. Jammies. Yes, Jammies yeah. is correct. Yep. Yeah, Azalea, Yeah. Okay. Perfect. Awesome. Yeah, J- James is too good. He he wanted to only play pro, so you know <laughs> have him on that team now because he's still my boy. Yep. Jamie's is great. We like Jamie's. Jamie's is one of the genuinely nicest and chillest dudes in THL. <laughs> Recruited Donde and myself for our Hero Series stuff. That's true. So, yep. All right. Next one is. That'll be me. And I, I know I'm probably saying it wrong because there's something to do with the colon in there, but. Um, if either happy face loud stoners or it's just clown stoners, I really don't know. Geranium's probably going to tell me what it actually supposed to be, but anyway, <laughs> we've got the clown stoners. Uh, Neji Boston in the one seed, Molestar in the two seed, Rescription to the three, Kodamora in the four, and Canoe sitting in the five seed. I mean, this is kind of the same thing. You go back to Hero, you see Neji in the one. It's criminal to see Molestar in a two. It's a Neji team. That's all you got to say, Neji right? Team. It's a Neji team not captained by Neji, which I find extremely, uh, I guess he's um, taking a season off doing a legacy captain, and Geranium has picked him up as well as a few. You know, Rice Scription seems to be the Neji uh, I wouldn't. I would. I don't want to say the Neji tag along, but if there's a Neji, there's a Rice pretty much right behind it as well, because the hero team looked very similar to that as well. So, yeah. And I think Neji's got the unlimited ceiling for PR now. What is he at? A th- over a thousand. Yeah, yeah. No, it's, close to it, if not yeah. over. Yeah. I think he's. I think he hit over officially last season. Season yeah. before. So he's got his uh, his DH one thousand DH uh, hero. I'd also like now that we know that, that it, it is in fact a smile, according to Azalea. The uh, I would like to I'd like to posit that maybe the smile is it's more like n- not a smile but like a straight set of lips, but that's like an afro or a pompadour where the C is. Hey, Think about it. Said, so it's own stoners is what you're telling me. Yeah, yeah, I'd go with that. I like it even less. Okay. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Some shade. There you go, bud. <laughs> Way to be. <laughs> I miss this. Makes me miss Clown Druid. Oh, uh, Clown Druid. That uh, was fun. Uh, I miss. It was corrupt. great. I I would guess that there's not going to be a lot of people agreeing with you. I, <laughs> That's okay. I yeah. like Clownstone. I we, liked it. Yeah. Kodamora said, "Ha ha." So we're good. Yeah. <laughs> I think you I think you've literally offended Chewy though. <laughs> there you go. So way she goes. All right. We got the next one. Vino. Yeah, this this one is one of my favorite team names. The the hero power button pressers. <laughs> I think that's really funny. Yep. Um so Captain by Hustle, we have Jesse Brown, Ariana 20. Chewbacca, Hustle, and Bassoon Buffoon. Illegal. Shoes back. Shoes back. Illegal. This is logos you can hear, by the way. If you're our age. Yeah. If you're of the age. <laughs> up the- <laughs> Good to see I, Chewbacca uh, kicking it yeah, in I was, the three. Yeah, I was going to say, I'm interested much to see about... what she does in the three. Yeah. Yes. I don't know too much about the players here, but um, I know one of them is on my pro team, so hype for that. Uh, I don't. So uh, Hustle, I believe, might have played his first season last year or yes. might have had two. Yeah, um, and I think I had a decent showing. Um, 
like six and three, seven and three along those lines. Um, playing in the four seed as well last year because I I ran into them uh once or twice at least I believe. Um, so yeah, I mean, and and captaining for the first time around is is pretty cool to see. You know, to be a rookie last season and then wanting to captain the team is is you know something we all love to see and how the THL grows. So um, I not too sure about Jesse Brown, but to be over Ariana Twenty. Gotta to, gotta to have the PR to to back it up. So it'll be an interesting one, kind of back to when we were speaking about in Hero about the you know, question marks. Maybe there's a little bit more that people know, but yeah. Yeah. It's a it's a team that you know, probably the question mark for everybody. And Hustle was on last night uh, helping us do the uh the team reveals um for the pro and wild, so We get to enjoy their company on while they're while they're uh, doing the reveals themselves. So, Basoon Buffoon, I feel is like pretty a really strong five seed. So, uh, yeah, I was l- looking at the PR real quick, and Basoon is not too far below Hustle, around in the mid one fifties, where Hustle's just under two hundred, and yeah. Shoes just over two hundred. So there might be some shuffling from three to five, uh, depending on how the early season goes for those three players as well. Every day we're shuffling. <laughs> Anybody that breaks out in the dance gets one coro then point. So, yeah, if you get ten of them, you can cash them in. Yep. All right. Next, next one up is Dunday. All right. So we have a returning team in the cooler. We've got, this is a, a, an icer captain team, of course, the cooler, fill of ice. You get it? You get it. We does. CBeak 1, he does. He does. He he, he understood the assignment. CBeak 1 is your one seed, aptly named. Got the one already in the name, so you got to stay there the whole season. Just saying. Bremen in the 2, Big Money in the 3, Icer in the 4, and then Spine in the 5. So Spine I'm not familiar with. Uh, everyone uh, should be familiar with Icer. He's been around for years at this point. CD and Bremen have been playing on this team now for a couple seasons as well. Big Money, I believe, has played before. The name sounds familiar to me, but I don't recall much about them as uh, as far as record or anything in that regard. Yeah, it doesn't scream at me, but you know, as you said, this is pretty much three out of the five that have been on the cooler um, with a few shuffles here and there. So... Um... The Cooler's always been a team, like, they're not, you know, number one killing it, but they're, they've they always put through a really good season. And I mean, usually... they're two seasons away from removed from a championship, though. Yeah. yeah. So, um, but but that's what I mean. Like, they, they're never, like, coming in as the number one where they're, like, to take it all. They, they usually, um, you know, they make playoffs, and then they just really roll playoffs. through and continue to have... Um, <laughs> Great. What you say? Playoffs. Talk about playoffs. Playoffs. <laughs> <laughs> but um, I mean, Icer in the four is is gonna be, I think, the biggest staple here for the team. It's um, so we'll just have to see how the kind of the unknowns on the team perform and if they can, you know, get them up to to punching weight. Yeah, they were they were a victim of that conference last season that we were in as well. It it made them look worse on paper than they were as a team. Basically, that's what I'm getting. Like they're a better team than the record would indicate. But there was also some discussion, I guess, that the meta itself was kind of all over the place too. So some picked up the decks faster. So yeah, we had what like five, fourteen, fourteen patches? changes. Yes. Yeah, I think <laughs> oh. I think there was no more than two or three weeks in a row it where cool. it was just the same you know the same meta so yeah. that's really tough uh, if you if you don't have a good read on the meta and you're not necessarily like an ace deck builder or you don't have an ace deck builder on your team that's it's tough to keep up with that type of stuff yeah. all right so we got who's up next we got Corroden. uh yeah i am up next uh Next team, we have the Rats of Average Size. No extraordinary size here. No ROTSs. Um, captained by <laughs> Jerry Damage in the one seed Gravity Cat. 
Uh, number two, Seth for Christ. Three, superhero. Number four is Tom Carter, with number five being Judo Chop. Now, um, Gravity Cap been out of it for a bit as well. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I haven't seen, I've seen the name, but coming back now, I haven't seen the name in a minute. Uh, Seth for Christ and Tom Carter obviously have been very uh, strong in the wild, making the jump over to Legacy, I think, two seasons or a season ago and performing well for themselves there. And Judo and Superhero have been around as well, um, performing at a decent rate. Yeah, Superhero is a, a very good player. And the, the PR at 375, uh, definitely better than that would indicate. Uh, Seth, as you mentioned, solid across the board. Uh, you know, I, I it's I think the team will be interesting. They're really packed in the middle, and then Gravity Cat. I, I I'm looking at the PR sheet. They have a 500 flat, which usually indicates to me I haven't played before uh, in THL. So I don't know if we have any sort of uh, any sort of history there in Gravity Cat outside or inside THL. Maybe something outside. If anybody knows what's up with that, but yeah, I think there'll be question marks on the team for sure. But uh, but they definitely have talent. And they got a seasoned THL veteran there and Jerry Damage, so leading the way. All right, let's bring in Vino. All right, so we have <clears throat> a, knack, a knack to the future. Um, yep. Honestly, though, this, this is probably one of my favorites for, for Legacy this season. So we have Lotus Knight as the captain, also in the one seed, followed by Ron Mexico, Skittles, Laughing Frog, and Cherub. Really, really, really solid team, I think. I'm contractually obligated to not praise Ron Mexico's teams when he's not <laughs> on my team. So I'm going to abstain uh, as far as, as talking tradition. about the team itself. But I will say, Enact the Future is a fantastic name. Mm -hmm. uh, the logo is the perfect amount of jankiness. So, big fan. Does it mean Lotus lives in the past? Championships? Maybe? Because there's Blast in there. Oh, that was yeah. I would say these are these are logos from the from the past. Yeah, so like yeah. the fourth and in inches. That was the Skittles team. Uh, actually, wasn't that a team that won a championship? I think yep. as well. These are yep. all. I believe these are all teams that have won championships. Yeah. Are they not? Yeah, these are all I'm, logos. I'm from the future. So. I didn't. I did not know that. That's that makes it way more awesome. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And as I soon believe as I saw, it's all ahead. teams that they've played on, like that have been like all of these. Individuals have won championships, and these are the teams they played on. Is it? Is it not? That's that's what I'm. That's my yeah. take on it. So yeah, whoever yeah. did the graphic up, kudos. Well done. Just have to double check to see who else. You know, as someone who's never won a championship, a little jealous, but that's okay. Yeah, we're we're oh, fighting. Yeah. I'm, I'm still there. I got so close, <laughs> so close. It's pretty cool. I'm not gonna lie. Yeah. <laughs> Imagine playoffs. Imagine hear, playoffs, Sunday. Here are good things. <laughs> he gets to watch them. <laughs> I usually get to cast them. That's about as close as I get to play. The, get the, the best finals. part is both of my teams that have made it to the finals in Legacy, neither time was I at home and I had to be like watching in like one time was at my house, like with my, my family, and I was like ignoring them on my phone and I watched Coles lose in the finals. So, you know, he's dead to me. And then the other time, I was watching in a hotel room while everyone was asleep around me, and then trying not to freak out when Jim Phyllis won at the last second. So you remember yeah. that? I was wicked. <laughs> that was yeah. That was intense. Moral Wait, you said a hotel. Is you got to sacrifice things if you're going to win a championship, and that means caring about your family. Just saying. <laughs> the Donde oh, sacrifice. Yeah, yes. There you go. I suppose that's also important. But yeah, I right. think one of my favorites. All right. Dante, ready for the next one? We are. And I've been informed this team is pronounced Waltz. It doesn't look like that, but just go with it. So it's Waltz, captained by Marty B. 
and Dabs is your one seed. Our hat is your two seed. Nine eyebrows in the three. Stinky Walrus in the four, which is fantastic. And then Lena in the five. So, um, can we talk about Stinky Walrus? Let's talk I just, about it. I just, I just want to know. We we need why. to add the same conversation as we had with Propy One. So, Stinky we Walrus is pretty pretty fantastic. Yeah, it, it's it's an awesome name. Uh, I know nothing about them outside of the name, but I only wish the best for them. Because going through life stinky is just not the way to live, you know? I, maybe they could do a name change to Clean Walrus if things go better. I mean, a walrus doesn't bathe, though, right? Like They live in the bathe. water, man. It doesn't matter. You gotta you gotta get some soap. Don't in. they? You can't, just, you can't just have a shower and be clean. Like, Don't you gotta they... soap it up. They lay in the in the sun outside of the water. Yeah, but they're they, on they, rocks they with get, barnacles and stuff. Oh my god! This got this got to be so we're coping up nice. Um, <laughs> but on a serious note, we are we're back to uh, our hat being in anything but the one seed is silly. Mm -hmm. uh, Dabs being in THL is silly. Very very good player. Period. And uh, he he did let me down though because I had you know picked him in March Madness to win it all two seasons ago, and then he, like, got bounced in the first round, so dead to me. Uh, nine Eyebrows uh, just perpetually hangs out in the three, and I don't understand. Do you only associate with people of higher PR, so that way you just keep mashing me in the three? I don't I don't get it. But, yeah, this should be a good team. Um, Lena is Marty's girlfriend, who has not played Hearthstone for about three years. So Marty's on the, on the, coaching, uh, the coaching grind right now, getting her up to speed here. And uh, we'll have to see how she does in that five seed. Yeah. She's better than him at Among Us, so you know I assume that she's the better gamer overall. Period. Anyway, a this is the uh, get Marty and our hat a legacy ship team. So this this was the the infamous post that Marty posted up and said, you know we've we've teamed up and we want a ship, so let's go get one. And I mean. Um, it looks pretty strong. I think Nine Eyebrows pulls the same kind of funky moves that I do um, as how I stay in the four is how Nine stays in the three. <laughs> <laughs> it's just the way it is. <laughs> yeah, this is a this is a strong team. I think if uh, if they can get production out of Lena in the yeah. five, then they'll be they'll be a force to be reckoned with. As a thing, it doesn't have to be, you know, an eight and no season or the five. Uh, no, no, just, no, just, just like a four and good, four, yeah. If you, good points and just exactly. breaking even or, or or you know, showing up is is gonna be very, very good. Like it goes a long way when you can put up even two points every time if right. you get a, in your losses. And then if you can sneak in a few wins every now and then, when you've got a heavy hitting, you know, top three like this and kind of the question mark in stinky walrus, um, I think the team's going to do just fine. There was, there was a stat Absolutely. that Jamie, Jamie, uh, Jamie jammies, I should say, told me many moons ago that if, if the five seed hits at least a 40% win rate, that's a good indicator that they're going to either be top two and like going to the playoffs. I don't know if that's, that's true, but I remember something about it. If your five seats working. Well, I mean, I tell you what, it doesn't work every season. <laughs> no, no, no. I'm just saying like <laughs> your top team, your top players are doing their, their rightful winning. And then you have your five seat. That's going to keep into the 50 or just slightly below. So, yeah. All right. Corroden. Yes, rolling on. Uh, F2L White, captain by Rebobson. Uh, in the one seed, Rebob. In the two, Myanodon. In the three, Gimme Lamp. Number four, Two Star Mako. And in the five, Daravino, you're going to get hungry. Tostino's Pizza. <laughs> My anodon is a little bit uh, question mark in the two. <laughs> <laughs> he had a rough season last season. We were talking about it on Sunday showdown there after the stream, and he just uh, it was it was like the comment that we just made a little bit earlier about uh, the meta being a little bit funny with certain individuals. And but he's yeah, such I a mean, strong player; he'll bounce right back. Yeah, the meta was just so so haphazardous last year. I mean, there was really no meta for more than two weeks, and then it flipped. Um, I like I know we were saying like Mako um, actually took I believe just 
took a season off of THL last season and coming back into it as well. Um, after coming off, I think the win with Icer and the cooler with that squad, if I do believe correct. Mm. Um, so, I mean, this, they, there are a lot of names here that we know. We, all of you, that even Gibby Lamp coming over. Um, so it's it's going to be um, an impressive squad, I think. Yeah, this is definitely a, a strong team. Uh, Mako in the four, when he's motivated and mm-hmm. playing like he knows how, <laughs> That's a that's a good indication of, of how how far the team will go. Uh, Maya Don in the two, I'm not worried about it at all. One bad season doesn't no. make a bad player. Maya Don is not a bad player. Not at all. And just <clears throat> I just met Mayan in uh in real life, which was pretty cool. Hey. Pretty tall they dude. Were, uh, they were doing hearthstone push ups. There it's yeah, people exist. It's it's crazy. All right. So, Venus Pomoni, hit us with the next one. Okay. <laughs> All right. I'll do my best with this one because we have this season 23 format, best of five with one band competitors. <laughs> yep. Oh, my God. That's oh, so good. The captain it's, is it's wrong. So, it's so, oh, yeah. The captain is super chicken. Yep. Um, but the the team name man is it's so like not creative that it's so creative you know what i mean <laughs> love it super chicken in the one seed turtle gamer dude tab and you kidding me oh well, i guess geraniums get some some news so these are well, no, no, it's not. It's not news. It's just a oh, recap. Oh, oh, recap. Okay, yeah, yeah. And start yeah. was it was for, on the team last season, and turtles replacing. Yeah, turtles yeah. in the two seed for this season. Yeah, yep. <laughs> Turtle wins titles. Okay. My biggest look at this team is uh, to see how Tab performs up to the four seed, um, because I know I had a fantastic season last year in Legacy. Um, I think it was predominantly through the five. So take it a jump up. You know, there's a lot. The four seeds really weird. The four seeds either, you know, very well playing five seeds who jump up or they're like two, three seeds that have come down and maybe had it off. So um, that's my biggest uh, look is, is this season to see how tab can perform. All right. Donde. We've got E.T. Cthune, another of the E.T. franchise, uh, captained as well by Trito, too. Chewy in the one, lowbrow, la- low brow, low ladder. It's like a tongue twister mm-hmm. in the two. Trito's in the three here in this iteration of the team. Probe in the four, and then Eternal in the five. So well, those are a couple of the same faces that we saw in the hero version of the E.T. team. Uh, always seeming to be competitive with Trito at the helm. So, you know, Chewy, a, a lockdown, you know, one seed, kind of like that, you know, that all-star corner that you got on your team that's uh, going to shut down the opponent, that top wide receiver over there. I, I hope you guys like football references because that's all I've been doing tonight, and that's totally... It's <laughs> been a lot of them. It's, it's, we're 90 minutes in, so if you if you haven't gotten the gist of it by now, I don't know what to tell you. But, uh, yeah, low, Google, low Google ladder football. has... Yeah, we know football. Come on. Foosball. Listen, my team's bad in real life, so I need to I need to, uh, an outlet. Um, yeah, this is this is the team that's going to be strong. Eternal's been improving in that five seed as well, which is another good indication that the team should be a competitive team. Um, again, we've seen a lot of really really strong teams. So I don't know if this is a team that will necessarily push for a title, but could get hot at the right time. I do see them as a playoff contender, though. They are legal, so that's that's one good thing. They are legal. <laughs> Yeah, again, if you see illegal, it's because they haven't submitted it registered. So get on it. <clears throat> Bone matcher. Punters are people too, all right? My, my boy Rich Eisen is very, very adamant about that. And I love watching a good kicker tackle or punter tackle. So, yeah. And, and, and let's be real. Players in the NFL... These kickers, these punters are way, way better conditioned athletes than we will ever be as just general normal dudes. So just they stop would the hate. Wipe Speak us. They would wipe us. I'm, I'm sorry. I know you're like six foot eight, but you'd still be out by one of these guys. 
Punters I, are smart. They I'm don't have to sure do I much. I tore my knee walking up the stairs, so let's just continue <laughs> on. Listen, I blew up my knee catching a softball when I tried to jump for it, so I don't want to hear it. Okay. Uh, <laughs> there is photographic proof of knee of the knee injury. Yeah. Oh, was that a knee? That, that was knee surgery for Dante. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, I, bl- I blew it out. The guy on second base heard my knee from uh, oh. over by the third baseline. <laughs> He picked in it up stereo. for you. Yeah, reverberated off the... Yeah, he picked up your knee at third base and brought it back over to second, <laughs> eh? Here, bro. You might need this. Listen, yeah. listen, I threw the ball to home for laying on the ground. I was committed to the play. I finished the play. Okay? What, your kneecap? We, did, your we kneecap? did not get the out. I want to be clear. We did not get the out. <laughs> Take he committed to the play, but it didn't yeah. uh, It didn't pan out, eh? Yeah. He absolutely did not. Fair enough. Thousands of dollars later, American healthcare system... Let's go. Hey. All right. All right, Croden. All right. I mean, as close to the cap as you could physically possibly be. Um, this is a this is an impressive one. Defias, the Brotherhood is back. Wild Nine at the helm as a captain. Wild Nine in the one seed. Classy Thug in the two. Neb Canuck in the three. The Reeler in the four. And my curse in the five. Like quite literally could not be closer to the PR. Um, for the folks at home, you don't see the decimals, but it's, it's a 0.417. So it is, it is tight. Tweet like a tiger. Tight like, tight like a yeah. tiger. If this team does as well as I expect them to, there's no way they'll be allowed to be a team next season. Oh yeah. I mean, this is, PR this is over the, 2000. Yeah. This is one of the hero, like the the one shot teams. Uh, you see them quite a bit. You, they come along, you know, every every now and then. Um, it's like you scrape together everything, every point of PR you possibly can to make this real, and then you won't see these people playing together again um, next season, uh, unless it's a catastrophic failure, <laughs> which we, we hope nobody has catastrophic failures. But um, yeah. Yeah, nobody on this team is really the catastrophic failure type. It feels like even if they have a bad season, it'll be like a 500 type season. Um, Comp was the historical captain of the Defias teams, but Wild Nine has been on the teams. Classy Thug, Neb Canuck, they've all been. These are all players that have been on Defias teams multiple times. So even though, like you said, you know they're they're draining every last drop of PR out of the stone here. Uh, the it's still not like an all-star team, so to speak, where, you know, players kind of come together to try and make that one championship run. This is like a homegrown team that they've won the championship before with a very similar roster. That's right. And it's, you know, it's just, I think the synergy of players playing together, prepping together, knowing tendencies, things like that does tend to pay off. And this is a team that can never be discounted for that reason. And with that, go ahead. No, go ahead. I was going to say, with that, we have the final team with Vino Spumoni. Yeah. So Pulling in some. We have Dad Legend. So I get Dad Legend again. Woohoo. Um, Captain by Yellow Dart. We have Parawox, King Viking 23, uh, Pescatarian in the three seed, Yellow Dart, and Aster. Aster? Astrid, yeah. It's, it's pronounced Astrid, actually. Astrid? Astrid. Okay. <laughs> Interesting. For the, for the office fans. Yeah, it, it, that's an office. That's Yeah, I got that. Listen, I got made fun of for sports references. Now I can't make pop culture references. Okay, whatever. So, th- correct me if I'm wrong. Some newcomers, though, on Dad Legend for, uh, for Legacy here. This is definitely not your dad legend team that you would expect there's definitely some not new faces to thl but definitely no, no, new no. faces to dad legend para uh coming over from having like a fantastic season in pro and has a you know um now in hero now in legacy as well um pescatarian been around for a while um my biggest thing is yellow darts not in the five seed <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> i mean that's like that's criminal to see dart not in the five <laughs> so yeah yeah Aster has been a part of Dad Legend for a while, though, so not yes. uh, not a new face to this team. No, Pescatarians yeah. moved around a few teams here in THL that's been playing for the better part of the year. Uh, I, I think I'm, I'm just going to go on a limb and say that I think Parawax has to be one of the favorites for crossover this season. Yeah, uh, considering they're now qualifying by playing in as many series as they are, um, I, I would 
I would be shocked if they went below top three in crossover. Got stiff competition though. Very, look at that one. You look at that one seed lineup. That's that's some some heavy well some heavy they, hitters. They might get a free win against that, uh, you know, Spumani Astrobot. guy. Uh, <laughs> that's Sp- that's Spinelli that's, guy. Sp- Vino, Vino Spinelli. <laughs> so where where do we want to see Vino end up with Neji and with? I want Lotus, Parawax, I want Para, Wildmine, I want Chicken, Super Chicken, yeah, 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 100%. yeah, 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 yeah. I want all of that. What, for me? Yeah, yeah, brother. yeah, hundred percent. That's fine. <laughs> That's fine. <laughs> you just bring it on. We're fine. Like, Jamie's also know what fine. that was about spaghetti. What was that about spaghetti? Yourself, you know, as I'm crying. <laughs> <laughs> I'm fine. We're fine. Hey, what was the question, Dante? Sorry. Oh no! Righteous James is asking about spaghetti, and you know my Italian senses were tingling, and I got to know as well. Bomb spaghetti. I am. I am. I am always down for some spaghetti. Can I just say that spaghetti <laughs> itself, like the spaghetti type of noodle, is probably like one of the worst types of noodles. Like, why would you not whoa, want to have like whoa, don't penne do or cavatappi, you know, rigatoni? Like, the, like you want the ones that can like capture the sauce. It can, it, it has some sort of like ability to act as a scoop. You know, you, the spaghetti just gets everywhere and it's messy. You know. Hey. Have you have you brought spaghetti into the movies in a plastic bag though? What is this a reference to? <laughs> what is your spaghetti policy here? <laughs> <laughs> yes, uh, I've not. I've not, but I would absolutely consider I, it. I do like I do like bite sized pasta though. I kind of feel that like way more than like having to use a. A spoon or something like my grandparents would uh like me to do. Yeah, it's way too formal, man. I ain't got time for multiple utensils. Nah, <laughs> I just want to. I just want to shovel it in, you know. <laughs> Give her. So you guys ready for the the wheel? Wheel of doom. Mm. The cool whip and the wheel of doom. So wheel of wheaten. That's right. All right. So gold conference is going to go first with silver. And then a red conference, we're going to have, so with 18 teams, six teams in each, if my math is correct. I'm trying to find lethal, but not finding it. Yeah, six apiece. You got it. Yep. Okay. Okay. So first spin, gold, gold conference. Any predictions before we start uh, wrecking, the, wrecking the wheel here? No? I predict that we're going to have a great time. Cop- Copa Keepers in silver, calling okay. it. And Dad Legend, because because Yellow Dart likes silver. Okay. For those wondering too, this will be uh, the playoffs are eight teams. It'll be each conference winner, and then the second place team from each conference, and then the two highest remaining point getters, regardless of conference. After that, so eight teams with no buys. Hey, all right. So Donnie, you get the first call here. The Kula. They spit in the cocoola. Cocoola. <laughs> Fantastic <All right>. water boy. <laughs> Done. <laughs> uh, all right. Um, so, Corodin coming in with the Silver Conference team name, Roll which it. is. The Stubs. You can find me in the Stubs. We can't keep up this pace, can we, with a reference for every single team? <laughs> we can absolutely. I'm, oh, we could try. We could try. Doing it. Challenge we're accepted. Doing it. Good luck with the season twenty-three best of five. But <laughs> yeah. that's, that's um, a song. That's a that's a love song. Yeah, I know, yeah, whoever whoever gets that one, it's I literally going to be me it. right now. Oh, hundred <laughs> percent. So if there's no sing along after this, all right, you're, we're going to go on ahead. the clock. You're on the clock, Vino. Okay, all Vino. right, let's get it. Whoever gets it's just gonna like log off immediately. Oh, I'll just make up my own catchy jingle. All Speaking right, of... the vanished venters. Is it venters? Venters. Yeah, like venting, like among like, us. I'm oh, okay. Yes. Oh, because I get vented. Sus. I was thinking like venting at. I like that. My uh, Discord friends for when I lose 
<laughs> oh, or, or Ventrilo, if you are old like us. Oh my God, Ventrilo! Are these the, wait? These are the Van Shed Venters now. Uh, I, I, I Red is sussy, and these Van. are Venters. So I mean, it it is on brand. Get it. All right, gold, Donde. I want gold. I want your gold. Oh. Hey, Speak, speaking Activision of... printing money. So Legacy only has one APM team, huh? It does, Do we... which is I, I, three in hero. Three in hero, one in Legacy, and two in two pro. pro. Yeah. In yep. NA Pro. Yes. All right. Yeah. Cord. That's me. Corrode. Silver side up, baby. Let's go. Rats of average size. Rats and bats. Rats and bats. I hope everyone picked up my uh, Princess Bride reference earlier on. I didn't. I didn't either, but we're going to count it because we need references. <laughs> yes. Oh, well, it was the, we've, we've, our, we've lost the flow RTSs. there. Um, for those who I, I believe it's ROTS is rats of extra or ROES is rats of extraordinary size. Yes. Um. So this time it's ROAS, which is rats of average size. Yeah, like, what are you doing with ROT? I was like, is this a Canadian thing I don't know about? Like they no, change ROES. Is this... Air, uh... <laughs> it's like a Z thing. He's Copa saying Z. Keepers. Copa keeper. Red. Red me, dude. Red shell. Copas. Copa. Copas have red shells. Copa That's Cabana. Right. There you go. Uh, All right. Uh, north of, uh, yeah. We got this. Um, a oh, rodents. Yeah, I think I think Coda is right. Yeah, rodents of extra of rodents of extraordinary size. Okay, it's literally like a six foot rat that lives in a jungle swamp. Donde? Who's it gonna be? We've got Et Cthulhu as our third gold conference team. So we all have to be in red, right? Or did someone get picked? Hold on. Mm, I think nope. all of us are alive still. Yeah. All right. So We're you all valid. have to land in red with me. No, I'm in gold, man. Oh, no. Oh, that's right. I say we, we already pulled the cell and hero. I, I think our luck is run out. Yeah. Oh, look at that. Over. I wrecked it. STDs and silver. There it is. Yeah. It's. it's I mean, yeah. So... So Donde it's... has to go in the red in order to keep the format, correct? That would be Zilfs. all of us being separated? Is that... Let's go Zilfs. Silver, yeah, Silver's... Uh, we, 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 we've, we've all been separated after being placed in the same one in Heroes. <laughs> F2L white in red. I find Hi, this Bob. interesting so far because I, as we will talk about our top five teams... None of my top five teams have made it onto any conference yet. That's rude. Whoa. So no, not in no your top five, bro? No you're, you're in my fave fives like T-Mobile <laughs> back in the day? Oh, okay. That's just as good. Uh, we have you on people. ICQ, dude. Uh-oh. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> All right, don't do with this you, announcement. It's, <laughs> it's, it's Dad Legend. Hey. I'm sorry, you, have, you haven't truly lived unless you uh, had a quote on bash.org, if I'm dating myself. Whoa. Yeah. <laughs> you don't even know what you just said. Yeah, yeah, Whoa. exactly. exactly. Google it. <laughs> oh, all right. So Corroden gets to mention this one. All right. Uh, all right. Have a good night, Let's everybody. see the reference. Well, uh, yeah. Uh, so season 23 format, best of five with one band competitors. They're in the Silver Conference because that's where they are. Nailed it. <laughs> There's nothing. <laughs> Nailed it. <laughs> What's the THL theme song? We could have just sang that, right? Uh, uh, I had the don't, tiger. We, we don't have a THL theme song. Maybe this is something we should work on. Yeah. yeah any... I, I right, can play the go. xylophone like the, the little <laughs> kids one with the, the, the very rainbowy colors. I play a mean triangle. I say, are you going to do chopsticks? Is that it? Like... That's right. 
Ding, 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 ding. We're good. I, I got it. I'll do the I'll do the lights. Okay. You're the light guy. Oh God. <laughs> Hero power button pressers. That's so fun to say. Such a did nice you say one. it in your head? I did. It's, it's, I said it along with you. You did it? Oh, it, along with yeah. me. Hero wow. power button pressers. That's exactly <laughs> how I said it. <laughs> Poor fellow. Heroes in a button power pressers. <laughs> HPBP. God, it's fun <laughs> every way. Or H yeah. in certain circles. H. 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 Oh, don't. <laughs> <laughs> Cease and desist. <laughs> now we have, we have H and Z. Is that H? Spin. Yeah. Well, there's there's a <laughs> spin the bottle. Yeah. Yeah. There's a. How, there's how a... much bag milk do you have at home right now? Uh, I I don't participate in bag milk. I it's I think that's more of an upper Canadian thing. I don't participate in that nonsense. He abstains from the bag. <laughs> waltz. <laughs> All right. So yeah, Dundee with the waltz. The watuzi. So, I got I got to understand why it's pronounced waltz with the two because like. It's not a, like a four would look welts. like an A, right? God, Justin. Nah, speaking of bag milk, um, we got some organic Justin. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm-hmm. Or Game Game of Thrones, Justin. Hey. As, a, as opposed to Game of Thrones, yeah. As opposed to the, um, you know, uh, HGMO Justin. We'll call him uh, Oat Milk Justin. Hey, Fino. Give me Defias. Hello. All right, down to the final three teams. I'm thinking. I'm thinking Zilps comes off the board last. I mean, Good. gold looks like the loaded conference right now to me. What? This does not, loaded. This does nothing to change my mind and act to the future. <sighs> Speaking of Lotus, there he is. That's all right. I don't get clowns, so y'all have fun. I mean, Zos can't get clowned because it's we fair. put Zos with two left. Oh, 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 oh no. Dang it. Silva. Isn't, uh, didn't you guys win it from Silver last year or last time you won it? Uh, we have never won it in a three conference setup, I believe. But it was silver conference, was it not? No, because when we do oh. only two conferences, we do gold and red. No, I mean, oh, okay. I don't know why I remember Zilf's in silver for some reason. Oh, we've been in silver and not, right, okay. not made. And, and, uh, and not. not. Made playoffs. <laughs> and not, he says. Okay. <laughs> uh, All right, folks. This the, oh. is. There it is. Get your screenshots. Screenies. I've already posted the uh, rosters in the chat there. So, or not chat, but in the uh, Discord. Roster Rudy. So, gonna need some. Gonna need some assistance over here in red. Oof. Um, I mean, it it has been you know dealt out fairly nicely. I would say. I know. think I think it's even as even it, it can get. You know, everyone's yeah. gonna gonna yell for for free and what's the real? But I mean, there's a lot of heavy hitters all across the board here. I'm, you know, the distribution, the the, the wheel of doom has done us proud here. I would say, agreed. Yeah, I, w I would say as opposed to previous seasons and in in other you know uh, leagues as well, this is probably one of the more balanced ones that I can recall seeing. Yeah, I, I do like a three conference season. I think this is good. All right, so that brings us back to our homepage to discuss Hello. the top five. So we're going to start off with uh, Vino. Vino, you're going to start it off with Hero Series. We're going to start that voiced. Oh. Okay. Oh, man. All right. Uh, well... 
top five. I'm gonna have to do probably Ice Clown Citadel. Give me F2L Black. And then I'm just gonna go with three APMs. Ooh. In which Those, order? Oh well, pack and mana. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> No, I, I, it's it's tough. I, I think every I think every um, team in here. It's so hard to pick. Like it is. Um, but I think no, realistically, probably Ice Clown and F two O. I think are really really good. Um, and then maybe maybe um, abusing PR management, just because Molestar scares me. Um, yeah, and I probably put I probably put I probably put always packing mana as four, and then another. Another pleasant meeting, S5. Yeah. All right. Karud. Um, I don't really have a particular order in mind, but um, Department of League of uh, Administration is definitely up there. Uh, Dola. Um, can't, can't slack that. Um, I think uh, Ice Clowns is, you know, be crazy not to. Um, slats right in there for one of my other ones as well. Um, and then, I mean, it's just, it's so hard. I, I, I don't like picking myself, but I don't not like picking myself, but I really do think that we have a good team in Obsidian. Um, so I'm going to throw us in the ring there. Uh, and last but not least, late bloomers, I do think have a really good shot. Um, I think it's a dangerous team. <laughs> Don't you worry, uh, Curtin, because I'm going to validate you because F2 Obsidian is in my top five as well. Ooh. So I'm, I'm with you. And uh, I mean, I'm not going to stray away from ICC. You know me. They've got to be uh, probably the favorite. I don't have a specific order, but I, I if I had to pick one right now, ICC's probably got to be the pick. Uh, Dola's on the list for me as well. Got to be confident in my team. And late bloomers, always going to be confident in Justin's teams. And that team just seems super busted too. Um, and then I'm going to go with an APM team. I'm going to go with abusing, abusing PR management specifically is my five. But again, there's so many teams like in that like fourth best to like ninth, tenth best team that like they're all so so close any any given week. Yeah, Hero always looks like this too. I mean, Hero just. It always surprises me because, like, I hate picking a top five because there's there's <laughs> not like you're picking a top five and such a small thing you're leaving people out. But like any of these teams are going to perform extremely well. Like they're yeah. it's gonna it's gonna be a great season. Yeah, and they always do. Right? Yeah. yeah. And for what it's worth, like I picked my top five before seeing the conferences, and it just so happened that three ended up in one conference and two ended up in the other. So it is possible that all five could be playoff teams. We won't end up seeing like a an unlucky. You know, bounce, so to speak, for uh, for one of the teams uh, out of the five that I that I like best. Yep. For me, in my quick five, no particular order. I'm gonna definitely pick the home team, which is Dola. Um, I'm gonna go. Sorry, lads. Uh, I think that's a pretty strong group there. Yeah. Um, ICC and PR management, and I'm gonna go with the ops. The ops. The obstinance or the obscene F2L with Ford and in the four. So, Woo. yeah, I would say if I had to do like a sixth, like Slat would probably be my sixth. So, yeah. I'm with you there. Okay. So, that rips us over to the legacy st- side of things. So, we're going to go Don Day first and then wrap around. Ooh, me first. Okay. All right. Just going to. Go ahead and throw Zilfs on there right out of the gate. Why not? Uh, playoff caliber team last season that didn't make the playoffs. They got they got everything they need to Ooh. to be a champion. Uh, clowns, you know, Neshi teams, Geranium teams. Uh, gotta gotta have them at the top. Uh, maybe right behind, or actually, I think I would put them right behind an Act of the Future. That's the only thing that I'm gonna say about that team because Ron, um, Activision. Printing money, probably my fourth. I don't know if I'd say fourth best team. They're in the top five, and then Defias uh, continues to win no matter what. 
Uh, it doesn't matter what their team looks like. They're just a top five team. They're a championship contender every season. So that would probably be my top five, I would say. Croton. I mean, literally not slamming? to sound like not to sound like a cliche. Dante literally just riffed my top five for me. <laughs> I, I'm not kidding you. That was literally my top five. Sorry, bud. That is so like. But same, you don't have like, to say get, it in the same order. Like, uh, you know, I mean, later, like, <laughs> I can't, I can't make that up. We <laughs> literally hit it. So, um, yeah, I think for all the same reasons too. You can't de- count count out Defias. <laughs> I think S twenty three is going to be great again. Um, a knock to the future. Um, Clown Stoners. Uh, I, I got to put EP, APM in there. We're the only ones in there. Um, and uh, you know, Hot Selfs has been there, and you know. Like as Donde has been continuously saying, <laughs> a six and two team last and didn't make the playoffs. So it's still like it's gonna be it's gonna be intense. I will not Vino. let Coles fail. <laughs> Vino. Um, so I think Enact to the Future is probably my favorite. Um Clown Stoners, um Waltz. And I don't know. Defy us, probably. And yeah, I don't know. APM is looking good. Foroden. I, I don't, I, you know. Or it's Foroden. That guy's sus. Actually Foroden. That Foroden. Guy is sus. I'll just go with, I'll go with APM. Over, over my own team, you know, sad. Azalea is going to be disappointed. Sorry, Cap. <laughs> Don't trust me in the one. <laughs> You'll be fine. You'll be fine. Oh, yeah. What could go wrong? That's right. All right. For Mike, Mike that was five for, for you, right, Fino? Yeah, that was five. Yeah, yeah. All right. So for me, I'm going to go with my STD group. Um, I think we're going to be riding the Memnaric train all the way through with, with Ryzen or Risen. Uh, on the squad, first time that we've teamed up, I've usually had to play against them. Um, now I get to jam bone the same same team, so it's going to be good. Uh, I got the Zilfs going on. Uh, I'm hopeful for the uh, HP PB group, um, just as a uh, a one off. I want to see the Waltz do something, or what is it? Yeah, it's Waltz. Waltz. Uh, S23, and I think I got what one more? I'd spin the wheel, but I closed the, the window. <laughs> we'll go Defias. Defias is back again, so. Yeah, I don't think you can go wrong with Defias. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. And Cheesy cheesy 10, like, they they weren't under so good last season. Yeah. I, no, no, I don't think we've talked about them enough. Yeah. Like, phenomenal at Hearthstone. Yeah, the, the overall competition level, not only in just the one seed, but in all seeds, has picked up dramatically over the course of 2022. So many more players coming from competitive backgrounds that never played in THL before, but immediately jump in and make a splash. It's crazy to see. And that's across all series, too. Not just Pro, not just Legacy. Hero has it. Wild has it. You know, and then we obviously open the BU Pro as well. So it's cool to see that there's just so much competition everywhere in THL that... You know, there isn't like, it's not like you see the same five names over and over again being like, this is always the people at the top of the crossover list. Like, you've got new people every season, with the exception of like Nezian based, basically, (laughs) who are just like (laughs) impossible to beat, it feels like. Yeah, it's going to be an interesting season. So, very tight competition for both, uh, both series, Hero and Legacy, has been commented many times tonight. So, and for chat, we're gonna. I guess maybe you can put in your top five if you feel like doing it in into the uh, Discord. It'll be interesting to see what what chat says, um, and then maybe we can kind of play off that uh, during maybe we'll, during a show. Yeah, maybe we'll do like a vote. Yeah, I mean we'll do uh, throw out like a survey. You know, yeah. uh, we everybody can fill out their top five, and we can talk about it. You know, Heart Center would be perfect for that. So yep. I'm sure uh, you know we we don't lack for content in the early season anyway, but. That's always a cool thing to talk about. See what see what the people like. You know, yeah. when when has voting ever led us astray? <laughs> well, let me see. Let when has surveys ever led us astray? I mean, 
there is always spiked wheel. That's always been a survey that's by default uh, on on the forums. So, yeah, but we'd be interested to see Should what uh, what chat says and, and what the uh, THL community says for uh, for each series, really. So, um, also just want to make a special note out to all the the Legacy and Hero series uh, players. Um, don't be afraid to ch- jump on stream. Uh, we we always want to do matches. Uh, we always want to s- showcase uh, the teams and the players themselves. Um, there's only a little bit of judging, uh, but it's mostly from chat, not not from the casters themselves. Um, but yeah, just hit us up. Uh, myself, Donde, uh, Asley. Uh, I'm trying to think who else. Wild Nine as well. Um, yep. Just hit us hit us all up there and own oh, Lotus for some daytime. Uh, shows possibility, uh, which kind of slipped off last couple seasons, but a little bit. It's just it's just availability of uh, people's game times. So, but yeah, don't be don't be scared. Um, if you even want to be part of the uh, content team with regards to uh, casting or opping or even contributing to the blogs, just hit up Don Day, um, the Mister Man of content there. So, and he can help direct you or at least give you some info to make a an educated decision on where you would like to do things for the THL. So absolutely. And just, just one caveat to add to that too. If you do want to play on stream, please make sure your opponent also wants to play on stream. Correct. That has happened in the past. We do not want to ever force anyone to play on stream. So if anyone is uncomfortable, don't force the issue. Just say, all right, that's fine. And I'm sure you'll find another willing opponent. Some of us are always willing to play on stream. Some people don't like it. That's fine too. So just to make sure that both parties uh, want to do it. Correct just courtesy so and that's going to bring almost our, our show to an end uh, there is going to be another uh, team reveal show which is going to be tomorrow well daytime for us so it's going to be three o'clock uh, eastern uh, in the afternoon which is going to showcase the uh, pro eu series uh, which has currently eight teams there's no wheel unfortunately but once more teams get more established over there and the, the word of the the thl lore uh, spreads within Europe, and I can't even really say Asia now after what uh, Blizzard's done to the how China's uh, uh rip China, yeah, yeah. So, but uh, any anybody else that's interested, so tune in for that. We're gonna have uh, Re Bobson being a host and Chewy. So thanks, Chewy, uh, jumping in there, and myself. So it'll be a quick show, half hour. So we hope to hope to see everybody there. So it'll be ten o'clock Berlin time if anybody's in. Uh, European time right now. So, but uh, final words from the from the panel here, Donde. Uh, as I said, pickles on pizza are great. Pineapple also belongs on pizza. So, uh, you know, go ahead and clip that. Whatever, whatever you need to get motivated in the locker room for any games against me this season. Just okay. know uh, this should be fun. I'm excited. This uh, expansion's seemed pretty decent so far. A lot of cool cards. Uh, hoping that we get a little bit more consistency in the meta and not as much uh, in, you know, knee-jerk patches as the uh, the season goes on. So should be good. Looking forward to, uh, to playing against all all, all you uh, people out there. Court, Corroden. Uh, Donde has the worst food takes known to mankind. Absolutely uh, not true. Just want that to be known. Uh and uh, yeah, it's going to be interesting. We got a four card set, so it's going to be hot and spicy. Hopefully, we don't go through fifteen changes this uh, this THL season, which would be great. But yeah, good luck, have fun. We'll see you out there. And last but not least, uh, Finos Pomoni, what's what's your take? Or My take is thoughts? that pickles on pizza are flipping delicious, and I hey. would crush that. It's my dude, any day of the week. <laughs> pineapple sure but you know w- when i eat pineapple pizza it's more like for the bacon like love bacon or ham whatever they put on it i love you more keep talking all right i'll talk to you all night about pizza if you want honestly favorite food anyway very excited <laughs> for this season i think it's really cool to play like with a new class obviously um that's exciting I th- i'm trying to think when, when i joined thl was Demon Hunter um, in the in the game yet? I forget. I feel like it. I feel like it was. So I. I don't think I played like with a new class coming in. So this is first for me. Okay, and I'm gonna throw a curveball. 
um, and say that uh, smooth peanut butter on turkey is awesome. What so. is wrong with these people? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I try it. <laughs> Get what the smooth, and not the cr- not the crunchy peanut butter, but the smooth. So. Oh my god! Gave me out. <laughs> Sorry, I'm so, I'm so blown away. I got pushed away from my push to talk button, so I couldn't actually respond. <laughs> I, I kind of, I mean, peanut butter can be like a savory thing. I, hey. I kind of, I would try it. So you can have, Only you can have peanut butter should be on is like a like at most is like in a burger, right? Like, a cr- if you're not crunchy peanut, a peanut butter burger sandwich. Some like, people put it on tomato sandwiches. I know that's a thing. And some people are wrong, you know. <laughs> and those are those people. Dude, those, ever, everyone's right. What do you mean? <laughs> there you go. But uh, I appreciate your guys' time. I appreciate chat uh, sticking with us for our, for two hours, just over two hours now. So it's been huge, great fun. Always, every season when we do these team reveals, it's it's great to see what teams are, are gathering, the their artwork. And obviously the the company. So appreciate it, everybody. Be safe out there. And we are going to rock and roll the season on Monday. Take care. Good luck, everybody. Bye.